Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you are doing good. Now, recently I reviewed the Nokia 130 or the Nokia 125 in China and the Nokia 150. And it's surprising to see that a lot of people are still interested in feature phone devices, but some of you have asked whether the phone is capable of doing more. Now, in this video, I'm gonna share with you how you can repurpose your legacy device uh, to do more. And this device is probably readily available in your uh, closet or something. So you can still repurpose them to do pretty much a lot of things these days so this is the nokia e72 this device is 14 years old so a good 14 years old device that still looks solid and still functions a lot more than what you'd expect it to do now this is one of the best business oriented device made back in the days i really love the uh, very well thought hardware and software uh, specifically designed to just elevate your experience of this business class device now let's take a look into what makes this device good now this is a device made with a combination of plastic and metal you can see the stainless steel back here and a very soft but capable qwerty keyboard one of the highlights of this device is this magnificent keyboard this device is slim it just measures about 10 millimeter in thickness and it has a very capable 5 megapixel flash uh, camera on the back which is capable of videography as well as photography a very decent loudspeaker you've got your volume control on the right hand side of the device and a dedicated key where you can actually voice dial your contacts that you have assigned with a single click of a button back in 2009 on the right hand side of the device you get access to the micro sd slot which allows you to expand the 250 megabyte built in storage and you can also charge or connect your device for file transfer via the micro usb cable now powering this device is a 1500 milliampere battery which can easily last for three days connected to a 3g network now do take note that in certain countries 3g is not available but 2G is very much still alive. So certain functions such as uh, video call might be limited on this device in 2023. Now do stay tuned to the end of the video. I'll share with you step-by-step -step tricks to make this device as useful as it can be in 2023. You'll be surprised to see what this device can do. I'll even share you a trick where you can install a thousand plus games for less than one megabyte of storage. So back to the Nokia E72, this is certainly a very well built business oriented device. You've got a combination of hardware and powerful software to differentiate this device from any other device back in the market. Now, what I really like about this device when it comes to the hardware is that this is solidly built. It is meant for single handed use. You've got a full quality support for easy typing with single hand. You don't have to click multiple times. Everything is just accessible. Everything can be done single handedly. And if you're good, you don't even have to be looking at your keyboard. Now you've got all the important shortcuts available as a hardware button, be it home, be it the calendar. When you want to check your entries, you want to check your contacts, you want to check your mail everything with a single click of a button you can even activate silent with a prolonged press of the shortcut here you can even activate your bluetooth with a prolonged press of this button right here you can even use flash with a prolonged press of the button at the back as you can see even in 2023 it is working well now apart from that the software experience in this device is really remarkable. The layout of this device, the apps, everything is very well thought of. You can easily switch between work and home with a single click of button and you've got a new set of apps to uh, make you forget about anything related to your work and you can list whatever app that you want here and this would be as personal as a device could be. And once you want to go back to work, just press back and it switches mode and you get back to your work oriented theme. Now, what I really like about this device is that this is a standard Symbian S60 version 3, but it has improved uh, application for business theme. So you've got dictionary here. I'm going to show with you this. This is a very powerful offline dictionary. So let's just try. You can see even in 2023, this offline dictionary is going to be really, really helpful for a lot of us out there. You've got Quick Office where you can have support to uh, view and edit files. You can view your Adobe files thanks to the built-in Adobe PDF support. 
you can uh, compress or decompress zip files you've got converter where you can convert a range of uh, different things here with uh, with this built-in app of course you also have this powerful app which is basically a presenter where you can actually present uh, to a larger display whatever work that you have to share with your colleague now do take note that the ov store is already uh, obsolete so you don't have the ov store uh, web uh, browser works to a certain extent but it is limited and uh, pretty much this is what it is this device has a powerful 680 megahertz processor which allows it to perform really well so you can have a rich multimedia experience with this device you've got real player to uh, to play the real play format files you've got a voice recorder you were able to purchase uh, music before but that's not even possible now of course you've got support for fm radio and as well as access to your gallery so as you can see a pretty rich device even back in uh, 2009 of course you've got a range of built-in apps such as games uh, traveler travel is one of the powerful apps back in the day but it's no longer usable now so whatever apps that requires it to be connected to a certain server will not be usable in 2023 so question is what can you do with your device in 2023 and how can you do it so i'm going to share with you what this device can do so can you browse the net yes you can all you need to do is get a powerful opera mini browser so just launch opera mini this is one of the best browser even back in 2009 let's go to i'm going to go to this let me just key in so just key in my internet details and i'll click in nokia power user you can see this is a very well compressed uh, browser so pretty much you can do browsing with ease and with the same way you can actually have access to uh, your Facebook but I would say that you might not want to key in sensitive details into your device and as you can see you can uh, read all the articles all my articles are still accessible here pretty powerful browsing experience with the Opera Mini now can you uh, use your GPS yes you can so I'm going to teach you all this towards the end of the video as you can see this is the GPS and do take note that these GPS modules are quite old they require uh, a very exposed area where it can get easy connection to the satellites above to lock into your position I'm indoor so it's hard to do that but once you go outdoor you can actually do that and offline navigation is still available I'm just clicking just go here and you can see all the options still available you have uh, voice by voice offline navigation support once you are out and the position is locked so yes you can still use your GPS I'll tell you how to do it towards the end of the video and let's go to um, YouTube so can you watch YouTube yes you can this is one of my latest video and uh, you, you can even go to Nokia so just showing you how it does with this app you have access to uh, YouTube you can watch it but what it does is once you click watch it will then connect to the uh, so-called web browser and it will start downloading it now the file size are not big so you can see the entire video is about 8.74 megabyte once you click OK then it will download and you can watch it offline so it's not really a rather smooth experience but still allows you to watch YouTube from a Symbian device in 2023 and this is more than what we can ask for for this device to do so I'll share with you the app again this is the app you want to get JTube small size app very powerful app now uh, one of the apps that I would suggest you is to get core player with core player you have access to play more format than your standard real play you can have AVI files to play uh, you can convert this AVI files store that movie in your mic uh, micro SD card and watch it with this device I've done that before really powerful experience of course you've got power, uh, a power mp3 player now while you don't have access to the uh, store I'll tell you how you can get access to uh, more uh, apps than you can ever think of so you can even have access to Google Maps so this gives you a more real-time experience compared to the Nokia offline maps so as again as you can see seeking GPS you need to be outside for it to be locked once you're locked you can actually use a pretty updated 
navigation experience on the Nokia E72. Now, earlier on, I told you that uh, what if you can install thousand plus games on your device, but taking less than one megabyte of space. That's exactly what you can do with this app. This is an emulator for NES, for Nintendo games, and you can just Google and search for this 1200 in one. So this file is, a, uh, this file is about uh, 300 megabytes, uh, three, sorry, 300 kilobytes. So a very small file. So this is how you get access to a thousand plus games with less than one megabyte. So just download the emulator, as you can see, the list of games and I can show you that this is 1200 games available in a very small footprint that's just about 300 kilobyte and I'm going to show you how the gaming experience is I'm sure a lot of us remember this beautiful game Contra So as you can see, you can have a very beautiful, amazing experience on your Nokia E72, access to games, access to apps, access to navigation, access to browser, access to YouTube. This is more than what most feature phones can do these days. And you probably already have this phone. So the question is, how can you do all this? So the details of it, I'll share in the description below, but this is pretty much the sequence that you want to get it done. So depending on your device, if you have access to a micro USB card or if you have a Bluetooth or if you already have a working browser, you're going to download Opera Mini. With Opera Mini downloaded, the next thing you're going to download is a Norton Symbian Hack app. Now all these apps are available in Google. All you need to do is to search them. Once you've got the Norton Symbian Hack, you have to open the uh, app and do as instructed and then you're going to uninstall the app. Basically what Norton Symbian Hack app allows you to do is to install tons of apps without the certificate error. Uh, you might want to adjust your date to somewhere between mid of 2011 or 2012 in order for the apps to work initially. And once it works, you don't have to adjust your date anymore. Now, once you've done that, now you have access to install any apps that you want to. So uh, one good website to get access to Symbian app is PhoneKey. I'll share the link in the description below where you get can get all these apps that I shared earlier. So this is one of the apps that I rec uh, recommend, Core Player. If you can see this, you want to get Core Player. You want to get JTube. So JTube is a powerful YouTube player, as, you, as I showed earlier. You have access to YouTube. This is GPFCE emulator for a Nintendo game. And you can basically download the ROM from the net and just load it into it and you can play and you've got access to whatever apps, whatever other games that you want to, you can download. Uh, one other apps I would suggest is the Google Maps for you to get a more updated navigation option. So what about Nokia Maps themselves? I'm gonna share with you a link where it stores all the offline maps of the world and just need to follow the instruction given in the app and you can do exactly the same with your Nokia E72 or any S60 version 3 apps. Now I also do suggest you to watch my other videos where I show how you can repurpose your Nokia N9 which runs on Amigo, repurpose your Nokia N8 and Nokia E7 which runs on Symbian Anna and Symbian Bell. So pretty much most of your Symbian devices are still usable in 2023 with the right steps, with the right apps. So with then, I hope to see you in my next video. Do take care and I wish you a pleasant weekend.